So, Weird Al is a guest star in MLP. Here's the decider! Oh, well, sorry, it's just, uh, I was just really waiting all month for this episode. Like, this is ultimately my new favorite show, and it goes up against that, and nearly has a record breaker for the most songs in an episode. I mean, you know that the record's been held by Magical Mystery Cure, alright? But this came near close. Well, actually, if you count the instrumental track in the end credits of the episode, that totals us up to seven, so now there's a tie. But with that said, what is it about Pinkie Pride that, um, that definitely gets me excited? Well, for one thing, it's Weird Al Yankovic. You, you, all, all of you have to know, I am a fan of Weird Al Yankovic. I love his polkas, I love his parodies, I love everything about him. He's just that special person that just really brings a smile to you just whenever you hear his music. And with that said, him as a guest star in an episode? It's pure genius! But with that said, let's see where the episode begins. So obviously we get a little bit of an introduction of Cheese Sandwich as... And yes, that actually is his name in the show. So, anyways, he's a traveling party pony that, um... He recently visited Appaloosa on a, uh, hosting a party, and the next thing you know, he gets, like, this sort of sense that tells him that there's a party that's going to happen in Ponyville. Next thing you know, there was, like, um... And of course, Pinkie Pie is setting up the party in Ponyville for Rainbow Dash's birth anniversary. Because not only was it the day that Rainbow Dash was born, but it also was the day that Rainbow Dash actually moved into Ponyville. Which felt like pretty good of a backstory. And the next thing you know, what rolls in is like. is, uh. Cheese Sandwich, dressed up as Clint Eastwood from the Man With No Name trilogy. Yeah, you know that getup that Clint Eastwood has in The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly? He dresses up like that whenever he travels. And the next thing you know, we get, uh, ultimately, a song in there. It's Weird Al Yankovic, he can do whatever he wants. So, with that said, the song is actually pretty mountable. And especially just how much energy and how much energy is put into the song definitely sums it up. So, with that said, the episode actually does move along. It's like Pinky, after everyone starts to go with Cheese Sandwich on his idea of throwing a uh, Pinky party, and um, throwing a uh, party, Pinky Pie starts to get extremely depressed. I mean, almost falling into that psychotic pink amino we saw in Party of One. So what happens next is that it actually does provide a little bit of backstory and history on just what happened. One of them being an actual oh, an actual photo of Pinky's old family. And of course, Pinky tries to break in and um, obviously try to... Pinky goes to the uh, party and challenges Cheese Sandwich to another duel. But of course, how did they duel the duel, you may ask? A goof off. But not just any goof off. A goof off done in the style of scene. And pokers. I probably should mention. The other time that Pinky was in there looking at all the photos ranging from her youth in the rock farm all the way up to a Canterlot wedding. There's a song in there, pretty amountable drama song, but as soon as it hits, like, the, uh, free fourth mark, it actually does go straight to, um, the, <clears throat> the song. It does go straight to, like, Pinky, like, challenge, getting the idea of the challenge cheese to a duo-off. Alright, now the goof-off is, of course, like, a polka melody, just swinging back from Pinkie Pie to another. So, with that said, there's actually some pretty weird stuff that actually does happen. I mean, you've seen Pinky pull off a lot of stuff. Like, for instance, in A Friend Indeed, she can literally anim 
literally have like that odd animation to where you can see or actually break like the fourth wall and episodes like go for a barrel and all that well both pinky and cheese break the barrier in this episode by literally well i don't know if it's both but basically in one of the parts of the song it cuts to both the little squeak, the little rubber chicken that cheese sandwich has. That's like, if he actually does dance around and cut to a live action image, then have Pinky look around, and then the next thing you know, cut to a live action image of an alligator doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> Just with both of them alone, that fourth wall is just gone. I mean, gone, man. Sheesh. With that said, Pinky get. With that said, as soon as Pinky winds up literally dropping the whole entire confetti-shaped like cake onto Rainbow Dash, she gets the whole rainbow eye thing and feels very sorry for. Rainbow Dash for not being, like, the super duper party planner and forfeits, thus Cheese Sandwich wins. By... I don't know. Alright. Rainbow Eyes. You said in... I said in the second episode that, obviously, this is going to be a reoccurring thing. Well... I had placed a bet bef the night before the episode aired, and actually the episode was late, so luckily I didn't watch it, that I was willing to bet that Pinkie Pie was going to get that whole Rainbow Eyes thing. And I was right. And for those who were predicted correctly, <sighs> go to Costco and grab yourself a bottle of cider, because you're going to need it. Who knows, what will happen in the 12th episode? Or even, heck, much more later on. But, I'll wait till later on until that happens. We're not even halfway there yet. With that said, Pinky starts to run off and, uh, to run off, obviously, back to her, uh, original roots, I think. And, of course, the main six, the other five, come in to stop Pinky from going. Even Cheese Sandwich comes in and actually tells the truth that actually he was a very timid and shy person. And he lived in Manhattan. <laughs> okay. Alright, alright. Cheese Sandwich, played by Weird Al Yankovic, lived in Manhattan. And so, he moved. He walked all the way to Ponyville. And the next thing you know, he came across a, uh... <clears throat> he comes across a, uh, a party actually run by the young Pinkie Pie as a filly. When she, uh, moved into Ponyville away from the rock farm and her family. And, uh, what happened is that as soon as he got hit by that rubber chicken which he calls Bomas, he gets that inspiration, gets his shooting mark, becomes the ultimate party planner, and is considered to be, obviously, a really fun person. Mm -hmm. And traveled all across, all across Equestria, bringing parties to every pony. I love that backstory. It's actually pretty nice. And, uh, of course, with that said, what happens next is that, obviously, Pinky decides to stay in town, and, uh, of course, we get our sixth song, if I remember right. I mean, that's so many songs in this episode, it's hard to keep track. But, anyways, with that said, they start to ultimately, uh... Sorry about that. They, um... They sing a song, obviously, tributing to Rainbow Dash's birth anniversary. And, of course, Cheese Sandwich ultimately leaves, thus giving uh, Pinkie Pie, while she's writing in her journal, the little rubber chicken. 
Thus, um, the episode is put to an end as him, as a cheese sandwich himself, and Bulma's too, I'm surprised he even carries two of them, walks off into the sunset, and thus the episode ends. Well, ultimately, Pinkie Pride is my new favorite episode. No question about it. It's obviously my... <laughs> Sorry, that was just my mom. <sighs> With that said, this is ultimately my new favorite episode of season four. Bats in second place. I mean, sure, you got the Danny Elfman feel like song in Bats, and you got the whole Flutterbat. But if I was to choose between Cheese Sandwich and Flutterbat, I would go with Cheese Sandwich. Because, ultimately, this is like the best episode I could ever see in my life. I love Weird Al Yankovic. I love his melodies and parodies and polkas. I mean, obviously, it's one person to listen to. And, ultimately, this is the best episode to watch. And certainly, there were a lot of songs in there that were actually pretty nice. With that said, ultimately, Pinkie Pride, best episode there is. So, I'm the Frog Guy. And I'll see you next week for an all-new episode. Apologies for that, for the 50th time.